already got warmed up since I've been up. Woke the cameraman up. Gotta go wake the Brunsons up here in a minute so we can get some grub. Stuck waiting on them to eat and then to go hunt, waiting on the Brunsons. Brunsons! It's 11 in the morning. Breakfast is about to be served. Brunch. Big Sexy's gonna get up and gonna party all night. Alright. That means by the time you're up now, do what you gotta do. Breakfast will be ready. Some sausage, some cheese. Man, I'm miserable. I ain't moving too fast. <laughs> My face was like. Big Time presents Country Boys Outdoors. Are you sure everything's still on, man? Yep. Seems like our stuff was crushed again by the airlines. Gonna test out the old schwackers on some African game. After shooting our bows, it was time to head to the blinds. We have a hundred dollar bet with Will, most impalas killed tonight in the blind. So I figure if I can get two, hand it over, a Cory Whack one, we'll have three, we'll split it, you know, go 70-30, maybe 60-40. Win a little bit of money today while we're at it, help pay for the fun. I'm Just Brad. I'm oh, Brad. Yeah. 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 Oh, come Man, on, that's we, all you got? Where are we going to fit you in? I told them, they're like, well, you can't stand up. I go, well, if I sit down, that's the same height as him standing up. You have to up. stand on your knees and shoot, man. Just sit in a chair, I go, it's the same height. It's perfect. Okay. Welcome. Okay. Thank you. I'm Mary. I'm Peter. Good nice to meet you. Well, because of my size, we are going to go test fit to see if I even fit in a blind first. Can't beat this right now. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, for the water, that's no big deal. And then that feed. Yeah, I mean, it's just right there, so it's just a little, just that little hit, and it'll be good. Damn. It's about to be on. <laughs> it's about to be so okay. Brad was after Impala because of his bet with Will, so of course he saw everything but Impala. While Brad was debating on shooting this Gims buck, something spooked it and it ran off, and the rest of Brad's day was pretty quiet. Country Boys Outdoors is brought to you by Big Time, Fortified Deer Blend, Ammo to Go, your one-stop shop for all your ammunition needs, Limb Saver, products that work, Russell Outdoors, explore your limits, Boning, the vein that hands down outperforms them all, and Muddy Outdoors, serious gear for serious hunters. This segment is brought to you by Boning, the vein that hands down outperforms them all. Where are we going? Going same place as yesterday afternoon. Hopefully we'll see 
A lot big, more than we did. The big diker. Right? Yeah. He should be there. Yeah. If he is, we're gonna. Well, it's our first morning hunt here in Africa. I think we're gonna be sitting here all day. First experience of a long sit, and who knows how many critters uh, or actually big game animal could die today? We don't know. We're gonna go find out, though. Finally, Brad sees what he's been looking for. First one in Africa. First real. Talk about a heart shot. Pretty cool. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. a dandy. First critter. First animal. He was barking and barking and everything. I mean, it was pretty cool. Right through the shoulder. Right shoulder and then the heart because he was like that. We got one animal down. We got us some power. About time to get back in the blind, see what's gonna come in next. And who knows? This segment is brought to you by Limb Saver, products that work.
buried in the ground. Unless it skipped off somewhere. It looked like it bounced out. Yeah, it didn't come out straight. It might even have flipped. That's my, my first tiger. Little dinky thing, they're awesome. Should be down, so we're gonna give them a little, uh, give them a few minutes here and then see if we can go find them. We like it. Wow. Nice big monster trophy. <laughs> That's awesome. A little full body mount. Mm -hmm. Look at that. The eyes. Big old cut though, man. Yeah, my. You know, this little bugger must have turned or twisted. He must have moved just a hair. But I put him here. He must have. Oh, oh, it's possible. They're so quick. They're so fast. For the people that don't know, this is a big one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's awesome. Well, over at Brad's blind, he was still on the hunt for Impalas. good life I once had in Africa. Now I must go back to the U.S. I bet you we're going to shoot some more of these too. It's a little bit younger, so you, you've got a bit more tips here on this one, but you still, you still got the mass and uh, you've just got, you've got two really nice, nice, nice important. After a long day in the field, it was time for some grub. So we've got some kudu fillets, wildebeest vorse, which is like sausage. Okay, we've got a traditional pup, more like polenta. Some sauce, we've got some nice veggies that's gonna go along with it, some homemade beer bread, and yum yum chocolate dessert. This is kudu this is, and this, this is... This is kudu, this is a wildebeest. wildebeest. Sausage and then fillets. Gotcha. Well, I saw all these that wildebeest is tomato today, sauce. so I wanna know And you know put it on top of your like. pup. This segment is brought to you by Muddy Outdoors. Serious gear for serious hunters. 
Well, we're back. This has been a great spot so far. Keep with the goodness, lots of critters. I don't really see it changing too much. After hammering a couple of impalas, Brad was ready for something a little bigger. They were having some trouble tracking this Gimsbuck down, so it was time to call in the dog. If the dog didn't bite, and then you can get in and finish it, but you must look, be careful for the dog. This Gimsbuck was bait up in the brush, so Brad had to sit on the ground to try and get a shot. That one was hot for you, for sure. These African animals are tough, and he just wasn't ready to go down, so Brad knocked another arrow. What we'll see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we'll see. <laughs> Let's see again, yeah. It looks like his, his leg is broken here yeah. in yeah. the shoulder. Yeah, it's dying. Well, we'll have a look when we're there, but this one's too wide, eh? <laughs> My man. <laughs> My man. <laughs> we're just gonna have a look. I think this is another bull that we were looking at that, that had that broken leg the first day. And um, we, I'm gonna send the tracker back to make sure I think the dog bayed the wrong one. So we'll just make sure. Yeah, the adventure yeah. comes in. Man. Found us, son of a gun. This is the one that we saw that the first, first day with that the broken we, leg that we've been waiting for. <laughs> you gotta be freaking kidding me. <laughs> so we're That's just... why the dog bait him now because they were running together with the other one with the blood. That is so the tracker, he's going back to where the last blood was. Okay. And then and then Watch we'll her. just follow that one up. That is but 
You got a monster. <laughs> <laughs> this is 40 inches, I'm telling you. Oh my god. Well, we got the big nasty here. We actually saw this one. I had my first African experience that night. All these animals, and he was the big one we tried and couldn't get a shot. Look what comes around today. We got him. He's a monster, apparently. I don't know much, but I know he's big, and I'm very excited about him for sure. Now, it was time to try and go find the first one that he actually shot. Brad, that's too bad. That's too bad. Hey, well, I'm done on games box now. <laughs> one, one from a blind, one, one exactly. walk and stalk, or what do you call it? Spot and stalk. Well done, you guys. The big, the big adventure. That's what he's going to be known as. He's he was an adventure. A couple miles later, a little bit of walking, a little dog action, a couple trackers. This is typically what you get on a bull. See nice, nice thick bases yeah. here, and they very straight and even. You know, yeah. very symmetrical. He said there was a good chance we'll see him because he took the night off yesterday. Yeah. yeah, he was on his way in. He would have been there. Yeah. Today we got two. Okay, let's do it. 